Wow, so this is absolutely, um, this is actually crazy, this. Uh, I, I suppose a lot of Americans learn this in school because they claim that they're really into their, like, constitution and, you know, the we the people thing. They make a massive deal about it. I would say that in England, nobody who goes to public school really learns about elections or the government or really anything like that electoral process i mean the representation of the people act in england i only just learned about it in the last few years um i mean you wouldn't touch anything like that at school in england well i i didn't anyway so in america uh, we don't even we didn't even learn about the bill of rights in school um or magna cat well i think we might have been told about Magna Carta, but I think that's probably about it. In fact, we probably didn't learn about Magna Carta in school. We learned about Luddites smashing machines up, and canal pony right, um, you know, canal horses and stuff like that, mill milling wheels and stuff. So, but the Americans, they do learn about their constitution, and and it, 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 but the thing is, the thing I realise now. There's a lot of websites that I've just checked when I've been searching for this that, that claim, oh, they changed the American electoral system to, to free up from British influence. Hmm. Did they free up from British influence when they decided to go independent um, from England? Surely, you know, um, th that's freeing up from English influence and, and being all separate states, which are meant to be united. So in 2024... I think it's actually good to have. I think Americans need like a rain check on. Americans need a reality check on actually what is going on in America because I don't think they've got a fucking clue what's going on. So like this is an independent opinion, right? Unbiased opinion. I did a video the other day looking at this actual constitution. What was the constitution? What even was the constitution um, meant to be? You know, so I've learned that now with the voting system and I've looked at it and I thought, hmm, this seems really, really fair, actually. It's they, they designed this system of voting, which was meant to um, it was very, very much different to England. You know, England had a king um, and we had a civil war opposing the king and, you know, all this. So when I've actually looked at the American Constitution and the original voting system for president, um, I looked at it, well, I suppose really the United States want, didn't want to have kind of one ruler or even one person in charge. That was the whole point of it being separate states, I suppose. There was, you know, in a way it's going back to like the Celts, you know, separate kings. Um, so re really, even having a president, um, I really, I guess he's going towards royalty, really, in a way, having one person in charge um, of all the states, but they, they wanted some kind of um, rules or regulations that were going to standardise the country rather than having completely indifferent, really radical laws that, that are so different, you know, that, that um, it would be difficult to trade or... Um, travel or, or whatever i mean but lots of states do have separate laws now different laws but they need some kind of um consistency to operate as a country now so the first voting system which i've kind of like been looking at and sussed it out i actually think it's a really good idea definitely prevents um it encourages state participation. It encourages, like, kind of like um, all states to take part and put someone forward, but also it encourages them to collaborate and um, um, be interested in what's going on in other states and different people who are, who are prominent people in other states who are um, popular. But, but also to, to, to keep their own state um, standing out and doing well also. And, and if their state does well and a person stands out, then the other states are also going to vote for that person. Um, and, and there's actually no um, preference for the vice president or president. 
really the vice president is the person who who comes second um in the voting um it, it's just like a a position where you know the person who didn't quite make it to president but but still um very popular i, I kind of like this idea because um it's more like a competition for president it's like a, it's a proper it's, it's a true contest it's actually a, a true contest um from everyone from america it's actually like a true competition it's like everyone in america um competing in voting for for who's going to be the president and it's ensuring that all states can fairly participate uh, and this kind of like a home vote and an away vote um you can have it, 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 i actually really like this idea um what they did now the original well, i just want to check something i have to pause it a second now so there's this saying so so everyone in the world is really really familiar with this we the people thing the americans like milk it like there's no tomorrow this we the people we the people they like you, you, you know you anything to do with law or voting or anything political or, or even just maybe even if you if you mention america it, it i suppose if like three images that pop into the random person's head when they think of america is the flag like the united states flag the we the people thing and um you know well actually the first thing that, the third thing that popped into my head then was tom cruise but i didn't want to say that because i'm not a great fan of tom cruise but you know afterburner tom cruise top gun whatever that's just like a random example of something that popped into my head when i was thinking of america so i guess um you know you got to give tom cruise kudos for popping into my head when i thought of three things that think of america so, but the We The People thing is definitely one, one of the top, I would have thought one of the top three things that pops into someone's head when they think of America, um, unless they're completely, you know, probably not modern kids, because, you know, it's all, it's, you they probably think of YouTube or like, um, um, you know, Amazon Prime or something, fuck knows, but. I mean, that We, that we The People thing, they definitely go, they, they, they milk it till there's no tomorrow. But I never heard of this to all to whom says to all to whom so that they've got another document. When I first heard the term the Articles of Confederation, I imagine that they're like just these like um, sort of um, Articles of Confederation, just like kind of separate um separate documents that that maybe were over a few months or from from different places that are put together i guess in maybe a little bit like um you know like that tumultuous petitioning act it's public act 13 charles the first you know and then there's public act one two three four five you know it, i just thought it was some kind of like thing that you know the it, it was a collection of things oh sorry like the the laws of Edward the Confessor, the laws of Ed the, Edward the Confessor in England is like a collection of volumes of different things from different periods and different times. But but they're not like it, they're from different sources and stuff. So when when articles of confederation, I just kind of thought that they were sort of like um, some documents that were issued at different phases or periods um, leading up to um, you know w w when they actually ended up doing the thing but it's, it's actually a document they call it the articles of confederation but, but it is actually one document although they're all fastened together but it's got a title and it's signed at the end so it, it, it's misleading calling it articles of confederation because it's still got this big fancy title at the top like we the people but it says to all to whom right no one ever. No one ever. Who, 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 I mean, you know, if you're if you're American, who even knows about that? Um, and it's signed at the bottom with loads of signatures. This is immensely important. Um, it, it, it's, it's almost like the the Charter of Liberties in England. No one talks about the Charter of Liberties in eleven hundred Charter of Liberties, which is immensely important they just talk about the magna carta when we've got the charter of liberties mainly because it says that um barons and lords should 
stand for their crimes rather than the Magna Carta says that um, they can only be judged by their peers. I think that's why the government doesn't like it. Um, although they repealed half of the Magna Carta anyway unlawfully, but that's another story. So this, this all unto whom thing, I haven't read it all yet, but one thing that it is, it, it actually, it creates the United States of America. It, it names it. It names the United States of America. We're going to call this country the USA, 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 the United States of America. So, I mean, if it said that at the top of it, the United States of America, because they create it, it shall be in the style of the United States of America. Now, if they'd have written that at the top of it instead of to all and to whom, I can fucking guarantee you, right, that you won't see fucking we the people for piss. You'd see this document that said USA, USA. You'd see this like document, you know, as a United States of America. But because it says to all and to whom, it's like, you know, like fuck that document. They don't give a shit about it, even though it creates the USA. So all this we the people, um, you know, um, extravagance, um, literally milking it like there's no tomorrow. But this is the thing. So. Americans swear by this we the people thing. Oh, we've got a constitution, we've got a constitution. A constitution is something that is fixed. The, the thing with the, the idea of the constitution and when they talk about it, Americans are always talking about this like, oh, freedom of speech, it cannot be changed, it's permanent, uh, right to bear arms and all this. Like these things that they're enshrined or whatever. But this is the joke. The... We the people thing is designed so it can be amended and ratified. So it's always adapting and changing. So I don't know actually why they're going on about this gun law bollocks and freedom of speech bollocks and the Bill of Rights is only one of the amendments that they threw in at a later stage. I guess like in England, like the 1688 Bill of Rights, it is um, meant to be absolute protection but we aren't even getting it now um but magna carta was meant to give the judgment of the peers reserved and you know hue and cry for casework but it still never got acknowledged you know uh, um we're still having trouble getting it recognized now even when you tell people it they still don't get it um i don't know why even when you're screaming you know even people using those rights and 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 they don't seem to think they've got rights. It's, it's insane. But anyway, so going back to America, um, so in the we the pe so in the, in in this in the we the people thing that they you can't you know you, you, this thing you you you'd have thought Americans wallpapered their house with it this we the people thing or used it for toilet paper. Um, it. it that that that's the one where they claim that you know what invents the, the president basically and the fact of having a president for this unit because they'd already created the United States but they didn't have a president um, as such um n not like in in the form that that we know it of um so basically The voting for it is really, really good. Um, like I said before. Now that that's what they should be proud of. You'd have thought if if, if the document that says we the people on it means anything or is worth anything in value to 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 be proud of and even show it to people and say, look at this, then it, it would actually have some use or be in force. Um you, and mean something to do with the United States of America. Well, that voting system, looking at it, how it works, actually unites the states. It it it, it is something that 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 actually has a a, a, a an effect, a unitive effect, and a, a participatory effect through and between states. Now the problem is is that you've got all these amendments that change it when they want when they want to now that basically means that this american constitution that the this figment that they've got in their minds is tosh 
it's actually they've got all these amendments rolled out. I mean, this one's twelfth amendment. I don't know how many they are. There could be seventy odd or more. You know, you've got Ron Paul going on about you know Fifth Amendment and blah blah blah, whatever they are, right? It means that there, this whole American thing, this whole the United States of America, this we the people thing, it what it actually is in reality, it's literally like a chameleon. It's a it's like a chameleon or a constantly shifting and changing country. It's far from this idealistic um, thing. And you've got Kamala Harris now going, oh, out with the old and in with the new, we'll leave the past behind, move into the future. So it, the whole White House thing now, the, the modern White House, I don't know why Kamala Harris isn't burning with the people. You'd have thought when Kamala Harris is kind of like, you know, going, let, you know, what was and what now shall be, leave what was behind. Well, Kamala, why don't you fucking get the, you know, fucking Jimi Hendrix fucking letter out and set fire to the fucking thing, you know, in front of the White House. That'd be a Woodstock festival, wouldn't it? Kamala Harris, um, out we now, leave the past behind. Kamala Harris, and to the future, you know, get the fucking cigarette lighter out and fucking set the thing on fire. We the people, seeing the, he, 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 he's not, he, he might as well be worth chucking on the fire because he didn't even fucking own anything left of it, hardly now. They, 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 they ratified it and amended half of them, and they don't even use the fucking president voting um, section out of it, so she might as well fucking set it on fire, you know, and sing, um, you know, Tina Turner, simply the best. You know, um, I'm better than all the rest. Better, you know, the best president that's ever been. You know, Kamala Harris, simply the best, you know. You know, um, so, you know, as for the United States of America, I mean, no one to, 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 to all and to whom. Well, that's funny because it says to all and to whom. If you think of what to all and to whom... That's like to all the states and to all the people from all of the states united. So it's to all states, right? It's like to, to all. So when you're voting and writing down the names of the president, it, 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 it's, it's from all of the states. There are going to be nominees from every state, but also to, to all the other states as well. So not only... Um, is it going to be representatives written down from every state? But also, people can also, the other name they can write down, it can be from all of the, whole of the states, right? And then it's literally like a proper competition. So, you know, you get first place and second place for vice president. Now, they scrap that. And I found, this, this is, this whole talk, this 18 minutes talk, is this, this, this is, um, so this is this is it. This is what I'm looking for now. My next bit of study. I jump to Amendment Number Twelve um, because this is one of the major turning points. Um, down with the Tories. Down with the British faction. Well, the, the, what a joke that they're trying to make out there was some British faction. Well, how can you have a British faction when you've got every single state and you've got to anchor some votes in from all the states? Um, if you remove the requirement for that, then that means that if you've got a political party that maybe might have, have an interest from abroad that, that isn't anchored in through all the states of America, that party could um, be taken over by foreign interests and um, new people would just be voting for a party. Um, that, that Surely that's got more of a British... Um, uh, that, that's a more of a threat to be taken over, you would have thought, surely. So anyway, this is what it says. So I think I was right about my evaluation in the other videos. I think I was correct about it. I was correct about that evaluation. And then what it says here is, it says, Amendment 12 to the Constitution was ratified on June the 15th, 1804. It revises and outlines the procedure of how presidents and vice presidents are elected, specifically so that they are elected together the original text is written as follows. So this is what they've done now with this 12th Amendment. So this is actually how it's even possible for there to be in this um, fanny parting position where they've got 
you know, Trump and Biden or Trump and Harris or these, these just these two parties, like as if only two people in the entire United States of America are, are even, <laughs> you know, um, you know, worthy enough of, of getting anywhere near the White House. How ridiculous. And, and, and you know, not, not even every state has got a fair nominee. And it's not even a competition. The electors shall meet in their respective states and vote by ballot for president and vice president, one of whom at least shall not be an inhabitant of the same state with themselves. So, rather than the rules saying one had to be from the state and one didn't, now it's saying at least one of them. So you can't, well, it says you can't have, you can't vote for both people in the state. One of them's got to be from away. But it doesn't say that one has to be from home. So one's got to be away, but um, both can both can be away from, from this time, right? But at least one's got to be away. So you can't have both at home. But you couldn't have both at home before, so I don't see the point in it. If, if, if you had to have one home and one away, right? And then in this one, at least there's one has got to be away. That means that you're freeing it up so all can be away. How about this, right? How far away do you want to go over to fucking England? You just said at the top here that they want to try and stop English factions from taking over. Now, um, he, 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 you know, at least one, if not both of them, have got to be from away. How far away do you want? You know, China, Australia, um, you know, um, that boat arriving. It's like on that North and South computer game. Da -da 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 -da. You know, like um, <laughs> auxiliary troops are arriving, you know, backup troops are arriving. Da -da -da -da. You know, um, hey, hey, guess what? You know, we've got a political party that's secretly run by King Charles III, but we won't tell anyone that. Let's put Trump in charge of it, and then every cunt in America can come vote for that party and um, not 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 anchor their votes in their state, um, which is meant to be the United States of America. You know, um, what 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 a comedy joke! How stupid do you have to be? What an insult to intelligence! Down with the Tories, down with the English faction, but we're going to make it so uh, encourage you to vote as far away from home as possible, as far away from the United States as possible. What a bunch of dumbasses, you know. It only took 100 years after, you know, to all and to whom, you know, and now it's just to, you know, to it's not to all and to whom anymore, it's just, just to whom, to whom? To all and to whom? No, no, just to, to Trump and Camilla. Now,